Time right now at 734. D.C.'s mayor is shooting down a council member's proposal to charge people who use ride shares to and from downtown an additional fee to fund free buses. The $2 downtown ride share fee bill was put up recently by council member Brienne Nadeau. Our Tosin Fakili is live this morning in northwest D.C. And Tosin, the mayor, not mincing words on her disapproval of this bill. Yeah, Tanaya, that's correct. Mayor Bowser's thought was clear. She says it is a terrible idea to add on that $2 fee. Now, the mayor has been focused on getting revenue back and increasing in the downtown area as we move past coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic. So I pulled up a rideshare app on my phone and you can take a look right at it. This is from where we are right now by Piney Branch Road Northwest going all the way to the wharf, which is the downtown area. And you can see how much that costs anywhere from 40 something, even $50. Now imagine adding $2 on top of that. Now we're going to go to some video right now to show you and you know people take a lot of rideshare to the DC area. DC Council Member Brianne Nadeau's put up the bill to add a $2 fee for the digital dispatch companies, including Uber and Lyft for rides starting or ending downtown. Now, Nadeau said the goal is to reduce congestion downtown and fund free buses. But to do that, she said some rideshare users would be charged extra and extra fee, she says, would be for rides ending in downtown business district from 7 a.m. to noon and starting downtown from noon to 7 p.m. Wheelchair accessible rides would be exempt. Mayor Bowser says she didn't know all the details yet, but says any effort to attack the downtown area right now is a terrible idea. I think it's a terrible idea. Any any effort to attack the downtown, taking capital dollars out, or actually charging people to come downtown extra is is uh, is the antithesis to a comeback, to an investment in the comeback of downtown. Now, Council Member Nadeau said the extra $2 would raise about $45 million over the next several years. Money, she says, will fund free buses and have at least 12 lines run 24-hour service, something she says the mayor cut from her budget. Now, Bowser says she submitted a balanced budget to the council that was fiscally responsible. So here's where we are with that bill, the $2 fee. It has passed a committee. It passed two days ago. The next step is for it to go before the full council. But for now, we're live here in Northwest D.C. I'm Tosin Kekile for D.C. News Now. Back to you.